In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Terabox Cloud Storage. Now, you can use this app either on your computer or on your mobile phone. It works either ways and it's very similar. However, I'm going to show you how it works on my computer over here. Now, once you're inside Terabox and you've successfully logged in, what you can do in here, you can first click on Home up here and My Files. In here, you'll be able to see all your, all your files you have uploaded inside the Terabox Cloud Storage. Now, what's great about this is uh, that this um, app does give you one terabyte of free storage, completely free storage, which is basically very great. As you can see, it says 1024 gigabytes. Now, what you want to do is click My Files, and in here, you can uh, add your files. Now, you can do this by either clicking Upload Files, Upload Files over here, and then picking one from the your computer. <clears throat> so, for example, let's say I want to upload this background of this YouTube channel. I'm going to click Save. There we go. It started uploading. Once that's doing it, you can see it switched to the Transfer tab over here on the left, where you can see all your current transfers inside the cloud, okay? And you'll get kind of a beepy noise once that's done. Now, if we go now back to the home and my files, you will see that my file, my background has been imported or kind of uploaded to the cloud. You can then double click it to view what you have just uploaded. As you can see, this is the image, this is the background of this channel. Now, you can also close this down as you can see, and that's it. Once you have your files in here, you can do many things with them. You can simply select them by clicking on them or select more of them by clicking these check marks next to their uh, kind of icons, okay? Now, once you highlight over an item, you can either share it, download it to your computer, delete it, store it, or click more where you can rename it, copy to a different folder, or move to a different folder. Things will also be grouped, so your uh, files will also be grouped by pictures, videos, documents, music, and you have others as well, okay? These are the basic functions. <coughs> so you can upload a file and you can always access them by clicking my files over here. You can also click on share over here and you can share. You can click start and you will see your start items in here. And you also have your personal vault, as you can see, and you can uh, password protect this personal vault, okay? You also have a recycle bin where you can see what you've recently deleted from your cloud. Now over here, it says shortcut. This is pretty much um, a shortcut to your favorite folder if you wanna drop it in there. So let's say my favorite folder was this from PC. If I drop it in here, I can do it right now because nothing's in there. You'll be able to kinda access it right away, okay? So if you drag it in, it should work. There we go. They also have a backup function here on the left. If you click it, you can enable automatic folder backup. What this does, it will select your folder and it will backup your, your folder again and again each and every single time you put something new inside the folder on your computer. And this is actually quite useful. Now you can press enable folder backup over here and then select your folder. For example, let's say it's going to be the uh, downloads folder for me, okay? You can press okay. And as you can see, the folder was selected. It says size of backup available this month. It's five gigabytes and number of folders that can be synchronized is five, okay? If I click backup now, as you can see, it started backing up my folder, okay? Now, if you want, of course, unlimited backup, you will have to purchase premium. However, for basic backups, that's enough. If I now go to transfer, uh, as you can see, it's being transferred inside uh, the cloud, what I have in my downloads folder, and I can open it up and you can see I have different Steam setups and the Terabox setup in there. Now, you can also hover over the app download over here and simply kind of scan this QR code and you'll be able to download this to your computer as well, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's how to use Terabox Cloud Storage. It's very simple and it has very basic functions. I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.